Assisted Lab, Analyzing Configuration Baselines Scenario Policies determine what users can and cannot do in terms of configuring computers on the domain. One aim of policy design is typically to enforce least privilege so that users have the minimum possible rights to perform their job effectively. However, there are thousands of possible settings to configure across different operating systems, OS versions, and application software. Configuring policies incorrectly can have catastrophic security implications. For example, on a Windows network, allowing weak NT password versions, widely exploited versions of SMB, or weak cryptographic ciphers could all allow an attacker to compromise systems with ease. Vendors assist their customers by creating secure baseline configuration templates. For example, Microsoft provide the Security Compliance Toolkit SCT, to help administrators evaluate policies against these baselines. To complete this activity, export the domain controller policy settings and compare them against Microsoft's benchmark using the SCT Policy Wizard. Objectives this activity is designed to test your understanding of and ability to apply content examples in the following CompTIA server plus objective. 3.5 Given a scenario, apply server hardening methods. 0% tasks complete. Next, export GPO settings. Export GPO settings. Use the Group Policy Management GPM, tool to export the current GPO settings.
Import Policy Settings Open the Policy Analyzer tool and load the GPOs that you backed up. Import template settings. Having imported the local policy settings, the next step is to load the template settings. When evaluating policy templates, it is important to use the correct comparison baseline. Check the Windows OS version and import the relevant template settings from the C colon backslash SCT folder. The version represents the servicing release, coded as the YYMM release date, while the build number indicates both the version, in a roundabout way, and patch status. Version 1809, also known as Windows Server 2019. This is the major release of Windows Server that came after Windows Server 2016. It introduced various new features, improvements, and security enhancements. OS Build 17763.1823, build numbers represent specific updates and patches applied to the base version, version 1809, to address security issues, fix bugs, and improve performance. In this case, 
Build 17763.1823 is a specific revision of Windows Server 2019 with all the updates and patches applied up to that point. Compare policy settings. Compare the settings configured in the 515 support policies to the template policies. In Policy Analyzer, ensure that the boxes for both policy rule sets are checked. Select the View slash Compare button. Observe the settings for audit policy. DC 10. You can see from the gray boxes in the 515 support column that the local policy does not configure audit settings at all. Developing an audit policy should be high on the remediation action list. Continue to scroll through the report. Note that there are many policies present in the local GPOs that are not present in the templates. Most of these settings derive from the 515 support domain policy. Linking this at domain level affects the domain controller. The settings applied in this GPO should be better targeted. Note the entry for LDAP server integrity. This is highlighted because while the policy setting is present, it is weaker than currently recommended, two in template, one in local. There are also conflicting values for privilege rights. The local policy is too permissive in allocating these rights to multiple user accounts. True or false? The default behavior for user account control UAC, is different in the local policy than in the template. False. True. 88% tasks complete. Previous next, review lab.
Review Lab. Answer the following comprehensive questions to ensure that you recognize the importance of the activity steps and the uses for the information you have learned. What activity was performed in this lab? Compare a local policy to a vendor baseline. Compare a local policy to an organizational baseline. Update a local policy to a vendor baseline. Update a local policy to an organizational baseline. Correct. What section of the policy templates covered permissions and access controls? Privilege rights. System access. Software policies. Object access. Correct. 100% tasks complete. Previous next, Grade Lab. Grade Lab. That concludes this lab. Please ensure you end it properly rather than just closing the browser window. Once you select Submit, you will not be able to return to this lab instance. If you want to repeat the lab, you can launch a new instance from your lab portal. Check all the step boxes above to mark all tasks as complete and make sure you have submitted responses to all the activities. Select Submit below to grade the lab. 100% tasks complete. Previous Submit.